What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Petalburg Woods, uh, defeated a Team Magma member and all that stuff, and uh, there was a little bit of a, you know, somebody hiding within the woods, something about us having potential and all that stuff. Yeah. So, here we are in this episode, and we're going to be going through this whole area right here and trying to get, uh, trying to be the very best. No one ever can or something, I don't even know. Now, if you talk to this kid, he's gonna be like, What's up? I was like loud, or I like loud to shout my lungs out. It feels so good. You can have this, so try it out. And uh, let's see, use it on a Pokemon and it will learn to move that attacks with its voice. If, it, if the move is used several times in a row, it becomes more powerful. And here we have the TM49 Echoed Voice. Now, originally this was Bullet Seed. And uh, Homeboy here is going to be like, A word of advice, a TM or a technical machine can be used as many times. It won't go away, so you can try it as many times as you want. It's always great. It's always freaking great. So, first is first. Let's go right ahead and grab some of these berries right here. Because, yes, we're going to be needing berries. And, uh, well, I guess this is the, the home for a lot of berries. Because, trust me, guys, we're going to be finding a lot, a lot, a lot of berries right here. Shoot, you might even catch me uh, planting some berries. I don't even know. Why are we talking about berries? Anywho, in the last few episodes, we've uh, done some introduction videos and all that stuff. Fought some lagginess. We're still kind of fighting some lagginess right here. So again, a little bit of a heads up to all you guys who want this all to be perfect. I do excuse, or excuse my walkthrough for being somewhat lagging sometimes. It's just how it is. We're using uh, the American Capture Card right here, which is always online. Well, which is online. What you saw in a, in episode one was a combination of both the American and Japanese versions that I have. Uh, if you guys were with me since uh, my Draven XC711 days, you guys will probably realize that, you know, uh, I did buy... Oh, this guy has gluttony as well. I was going to capture him. Uh, I did buy a capture card that you can install onto your computer and it just like, you know, you don't you don't need the internet for it. But what I failed to see was that it was all in Japanese, which kind of pissed me off because it was like, man, I was really hoping to getting a, to doing these walkthroughs since everybody was starting to use capture cards and all that stuff. And I did spend a nice amount of money just to get this capture card. So I actually, what was it? I actually, oh crap. <laughs> There's my mouse. Yeah, so I actually played a... Uh, a full entire uh, Pokemon X version with, uh, with in Japanese. The last what, 14 episodes? I, I didn't even didn't even do a voiceover because, uh, mainly because uh, what you call I got myself the American version afterwards. But here we are into the American version capture card, which is all online. You get, you're gonna use FBI Homebrew just to connect. Trust me, guys, it took me forever just to get these whole settings right. Forever, man. Like I don't know. Like, why can't it just be simple? Like, connecting a, a Nintendo or something. Why can't it be like that? I don't even know. Why don't even... Like, it, it just pissed me the hell off. And trust me, guys, it, it took me quite some time, maybe a year or two, just to get all this stuff right. But hopefully this is it, because I'm sick and tired of spending X amount of money for, uh, for, for these things. Originally, I was going to just use a camcorder and just record it all. That's what I was going to do. But... Not all of you guys like that, so I was like, eh, well, you know what, can't be stingy. I, I, I got a job. Well, had a, well, somewhat have a job since COVID-19 and all that stuff, but whatever. And, uh, well, here we captured another Zigzag Goon, and you know what, I'm going to call this guy Zigzags. Just because he's going to be on our team just to pick up some uh, some items for us, since the other Zigzag Goon didn't really have it. So Zig, Zaz. There we go. You have yourself a nickname. That's good. That's awesome. Okay, so I think there's an item right there somewhere, right? Nope, just another Pokemon right here. Okay, and it's a Wurmple. Now, something that I, I love about this game is that you can train the Pokemon as many times as possible. Capturing Pokemon trains these Pokemon as well. Uh, the people that you run into that will want to battle, they will want to battle you forever and ever and ever. And uh, what is this guy? a bug type Pokemon. Oh, it's a Wurmple. Never mind. Yeah, they will want to battle you every single time, so that's that's one big positive about this is that you will never run out of battles. And here we are into the pretty power, uh, pretty flower shop, and uh, 
Hello! This is the Pretty Petal Flower Shop, spreading flowers throughout the world. Your name is? Draven? That's a nice name. Draven, would you like to learn about berries? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, sure. Berries grow on trees and, and that thrive all, only in the soil. If you take uh, some berries, be sure to plant one in, uh, in the soft soil. A planted berry will soon sprout, grow into a plant, flower, be flower beautifully, and grow berries again. I want to see the whole wide world filled with beautiful flowers. That's my dream. Please help me, Draven. Plant berries and uh, bring flowers to the whole world. Okay. And, uh, let's see. Does she give us something? Hello? Flowers will bloom beautifully in bear many berries if you take good care of them. You'll like tending it. Uh, you'll like tending flowers, I'm sure. You can have this. And here we have a whalemer pail, which, of course, will water our, 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 our berries right here. So I might, I might grow some berries here and there just because, you know... Uh, you know, I'm a nice guy and all that stuff, and, uh, let's see, I'm trying to be like my big sisters, too. I'm growing flowers, too. Here, you can go for, you can get this, and we get ourselves a person berry. That's nice, a person berry. I like saying that, person. And, uh, well, let's see. Talk to this one, select berries, area nab. Oh, yeah, you can actually find, uh, berries on your area nab as well. Which, uh, let's see. I'm gonna click on it right now. And as you can see, here's the area nav on the, well, whatever side of the screen I ever put this on. And, uh, well, the highlighted, the highlighted spots are the, are the, are the areas that we actually uh, visited. So that, that one, that will be taken care of a little bit later. But right now, we're going to be taking care of business right here by battling some Pokemon trainers. And crud, I was going to switch out my Pokemon, but homegirl here saw me. She's like, we must have uh, been fated to meet. May I ask for you a battle or a battle from you? Again, good old Draven doesn't know how to read because he's got dyslexia and all that stuff. So, here she comes out with a zigzagoon. As you probably already know, she's a lady. So, she'll have a lot of money. Lots and lots of money right here. So, here we go with Gaia. Still trying to get it to grow to level 11. Not really worried about uh, Sage of the Halo right now because it will uh, be battling some wrong type Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, easy, easy money right there. On top of that, experience here. He's actually giving us a little more uh, for our Pokemon right here. So I'm going to be switching out. Oh, actually, I already got that right there. I'm going to be switching out. Where are you? There you go. Sage of the Halo. Alrighty. Now, another thing that I like about this game, I guess it, it, it's that you will be able to find every... I, I, I want to... Well, I don't want to be wrong or anything. You will be able to get every single uh, uh, Hoenn Pokemon into your Pokédex by the time you're done with the main game. It's, it's just how it goes. On top of that, you'll be able to evolve some of the Pokemon from pre from previous generations to newer generations, such as you know Crobat into or Golbat into uh, Crobat. Uh, what was it? Piloswine into Mamoswine. Uh, as you guys already know, uh, what was it? Gardevoir. Not Gardevoir, but you'll actually get a Gallade here. All these Pokemon that you'll be able to find in next in uh, the next few generations, bam, you're gonna be finding them right here. Hell, you might even see some of my Generation uh, Five Pokemon into this game right here. Eventually, later on, I don't know which Pokemon are you can actually find. And uh, this Exagoon is not letting me. Oh, crud. As you can see. These, uh, these rich people do like their full restores and all that stuff. But like I said, you'll be able to find some of these uh, Pokemon right here eventually. It's just a matter of just beating these guys right here. So here we go. And uh, let's see, the legendary Pokemon. Like some event Pokemon and all that stuff. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be a that's gonna be a true task right there for you. Because some Pokemon come out through times of the day or... I don't even know. Like some kind of a portion of the day it really yeah it's a it's a big uh it's a big 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 mystery with these pokemon that you'll eventually find right here guys which i will cover eventually you guys already know that so here we go absorb let's get it and there we go it's that goon you have to be uh stubborn you can stubborn as hell look at that so no more zigzagoon and gaia get some experience points Poochiana growing levels but without doing anything and uh, Lady Cindy has been defeated, and yeah, she'll give us a lot of money just for beating her and all that stuff. So, let's move on right here. Another trainer looks at us. Crud. Should I or shouldn't I? Okay, I will battle. Okay, so here we have another battle right here. 
We're going up against Lass Haley, and she will be coming out with a Lotad. Oh, crud. Lotad. Now, originally I wanted to use Lotad if I was gonna if I was gonna choose a uh, uh, Torchic, but since I've used Torchic so many times, I, I, I figured many of you guys wanted me to, to use a uh, Trico at some point. So, yeah, that was that was kind of like the the, the original plan. I guess. I'll use Torchic, <laughs> and here he comes out with a Absorb Attack. Not powerful. All right, let's go all physical on your ass right here. You sombrero wearing mother lover. There we go. Half the HP, and of course, Rall attack. Fred, come on, let's go. Quick attack for the win. Nearly beats this guy right here. And uh, again, another absorb attack. You gotta love that. Ah, uh, crud. Okay, so here we go again. Quick attack for the win. There we go. And that's how you do it right there. Pokemon are growing levels without doing anything. And she's going to be coming out with a Shroomish. Yeah. Let's go with Guy right here. And uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, heal it right now. Now, off screen, I did capture myself Shroomly. As many of you guys already know, it was part of my Emerald team at one point. Now it's not. Okay, it's kind of lame because... It's kind of lame because, you know... I wanted to, to use Shroom Lee again, but I have a, again, I have a new team. It's going to be uh, changing every single time. That's all I got to say, because now the advantages that we have right here in Pokemon Auras, and, uh, well, eventually the final team is going to be a pretty, like, a pretty legit team right here, so hope you guys are ready for that one right there. So let's go with the confusion. Come on, Gaia. Okay, do it for the bitch. Now, if you were a fighting-type Pokemon, you would have been done by now. And, uh, well, you gotta love that paralysis. Alright, here we go again. Come on, Gaia. Don't be a bitch. Oh, crud. And there we go. So we gotta start somewhere, guys. Right now, Gaia's not doing a... Well, it's not doing a good job. Maybe I should have captured a Taylor while I was at it. I don't know. Probably should have. I don't know. So here we go. Sage of the Halo coming out, and, uh... There's that absorb attack right there, and uh, oh, not very effective. Okay, you little slut. Here we go. About to use this. Uh, not not that attack, but we're, we're gonna be a little worried about this one right here because it does have effect spore, and we don't want to get we don't want to get paralyzed, put to sleep, or get poisoned and all that stuff. God dang! Come on! Another quick attack right here. So there we go, quick attack, nearly beats this guy, here we go again, tackle attack, god dang. This episode is, is gonna be just me struggling against these Pokemon right now, and look at that, Shroomish, defeated. Alrighty. Okay, look at that. Look at that, Rage, or Sage, is learning a new move, so it's learning Mega Drain at this point, so I'm gonna take away Absorb, and uh, well, yeah, it's finally learning a better move. Go Mega Drain. Finally. Okay, and then Gaia grows to level eight. It's also great. And Zigzags grows to level six without doing anything. But hopefully it picked up some cool items right there. And uh, well, that took me like about 20 minutes just to beat her. So let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Luckily we do have paralysis heals. And uh, let's go ahead and use that to Gaia. And uh, well, I'm a little quick to the trigger right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, use this guy right here. And this guy right here. And okay, so my Pokemon are healed. Now we got to switch out our Pokemon right now. All right, let's go and switch out right here. Let's go with the Sage of the Halo. And uh, let's move on right here. We got a double battle ready for us. We're twins, so we're, uh, we're battling Pokemon together too. All right, you're gonna battle our Pokemon. Well, this is awesome. Okay, so here we go. We're double battling now against a Lotad and a C Dot. So these are two Pokemon that we kind of we kind of have a disadvantage towards. So let's see. I think we got the we had to gang up on uh, Lotad first because uh, C Dot. I think it's it's half Dark type, right? Is it? I don't even know. Yeah, let's go with the low tap first. Okay, so here we go. Pound attack. That's one. 
That's two. And here we go with uh, that attack. I don't even know what it is. And a harding attack. Okay. A harden attack. Okay, here we go again. Confusion. Pound attack again. And uh, yeah, he's using bide. So that right there is actually... We're actually doing the right thing. <laughs> okay, so there goes low dead. And uh, there goes our Pokemon. Confusion. That right there might be bad. Okay, so... Let's go with a double team. And, uh... Let's go with a Leer, since it probably... It probably can withstand whatever attack it will be able to get. So here we go. Leer attack. Gaia, double team. Let's use that strategic magic right there. And... Let's see. Confusion onto you. And... Pound onto you. Unleash the energy, and of course, he's gonna be going for Gaia, that asshole! Ah, oh, God, okay. You destroyed Gaia, you asshole, you, okay. Alright, so we're gonna have to go with Poochiana right here since it's, I guess, a useful Pokemon for right now. And uh, we're gonna be going with a Thunder Fang right here, and Pound Attack onto you, and uh, he's gonna be going with another Bite Attack. Uh, you gotta love that. Here we go. God dang it, just go and faint, die in a fire. There we go. It died in a fire. Alrighty, so right now I don't have the best team, but eventually it's gonna be a good one. It will. I keep on hyping it up, guys, but it will. Good Poochiana. Good Poochiana. And yes, Zigzags grows to level 7 and learns Sand Attack right there. That's always good. Very, very good. Yes, they're disappointed that they lost. Whatever. Okay, so let's move on right here, and uh, you can see a fisherman right here. Before we do anything, let's talk to this lady, and she's like, if you, if you see berries growing in a soft soil, feel free to take them, but sure to plant the berry in the same spot. That's common courtesy. Here, I'll share this with you. Of course, many of you guys already know that I don't really plant berries a lot. Uh, but I guess I'm going to have to do that anyway, so let's go right ahead and grab this, uh, these four berries right here. Wish there was a berry that could revive your Pokemon. I wonder if there is. Comment down below if there is a, a berry that can revive your Pokemon. I don't even know. Okay, so we got that, and we're getting this. Okay. Look at that. Okay. And, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, so the next Pokemon in would have to be Sage. So let's go ahead and switch out, and, uh, Let's see what this guy has to say. Why keep it a secret? I'm a water Pokemon expert. Huh? You don't know me? Nope. You're just a fisherman guy. So here we go. Fisherman Ivan Drago wants to battle us, and he's coming out with his very own Magikarp. Alrighty. Here we go. Magikarp. You're looking like a piece of, a, you know, big old meat. So here we go with the Mega Drain. It's going to be easy for us right here. Alrighty. Finally, an easy battle. Easy battle for us. There we go. No more Magikarp. And uh, well, everybody's getting experience points. He's coming out with another Magikarp. I think I've already told you guys that how, how much I really don't like Magikarp trainers. They're just so freaking annoying at times. And here we go. Another Mega Drain. And that does it right there. Suck it, Magikarp. Alrighty. And he's going to be coming out with another Magikarp. So, here we go. Magikarp's looking all weak and frail and everything, so here we go again. Mega Drain. You gotta love it. Or Mega, or, yeah, it's Mega Drain. And uh, look at that. Level 14. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And everybody else is just getting points because they didn't do anything at all. Literally nothing. Okay. So that is pretty much it for this route right here, but as we already know, we gotta go right behind here and grab another item near Rustboro City. So technically speaking, we are in Rustboro City, it's just the outskirts of it. And so here it is, the X Defense. Very, very good item right there. Now, I will be breeding Pokemon. I will be, uh, actually, in this game right here, guys, I'm gonna be doing a lot. Off-screen, uh, in-screen, and all that stuff. Uh, this game... 
to be honest, it, it's really, really fun just to screw around with the Pokemon that you have at your disposal. Again, you'll be able to find a lot of different Pokemon here, and, and just nifty tricks. A lot of nifty tricks right here, guys. I, I'm very, very excited. Now, if you guys want to trade some Pokemon, or if you guys... I don't even know. Oh, look at that. It's the Pokemon Center. Or Pokemon. Hey, look, it's me. Well, hello, hello. So you made it here to Rustboro, or you made it here to Rustboro too, Draven. Look at that. That looks beautiful right there. It's really big here, isn't it? Little Rue can't even compare. Oh yeah, she's telling us about the Pokemon Center. Oh, and Draven, you uh, have you heard? There's a Pokemon Gym here too. Once I catch a couple Pokemon, I'll be sure to take it on, take it on my with my team. See you later. Anywho, like I said, if you guys want to trade Pokemon or anything like that, my friend code will be on the bottom of the screen right here. Uh, just, uh, you know, if I don't answer, like if I don't answer you guys' uh, responses or anything like that, it's mainly because I'm probably doing uh, something important on my walkthrough or I just, you know, it, it, you know, you know me. I'm just very antisocial and whatever. But stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be taking on a few things. You know, finding a few cool things around here and all that stuff. Maybe capturing another Pokemon here and there. I don't know. It is what it is. You guys, you guys are going to see. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.